I work at Planned Parenthood Toronto, where I support teens in becoming volunteer peer educators that answer questions about sexual health. One of my favorite moments is seeing each volunteer become more and more confident in their ability to support other teens. Each of them brings their own perspective and personality, determining the best way to respond as a peer. How they communicate with their peers is only one of the many moments when I learn from my volunteers. When it's not busy, we talk about pop culture, music, things going on in their lives, and just general silliness. In these moments, I'm really grateful that the volunteers want to include me in their chats. Sometimes I feel so old around them. This lets me feel like maybe I'm not that old. Some conversations help me understand how different it is for them to be growing up surrounded by the internet. I still remember the days when my parents would kick me off dial-up so they could use the phone. I recently noticed most of them use Snapchat all the time. Since I like to try new apps, I downloaded it for myself. Not knowing anyone else on Snapchat in their late 20s, I got my partner to download it with me. After sending a couple of pictures back and forth, we gave up, not understanding how you can communicate with just selfies or random images. I asked my volunteers if I missed something, because I couldn't figure out what the big deal was. They just shrugged and said it's fun, showing me the kinds of silly pictures they send. I quickly realized that this would not be something I'd do on a regular basis, but was in awe of the pleasure they found from this simple app. I love sharing moments like this to remind others not to just focus on the few bad instances of cyberbullying and seeing all the positive ways teens are using technology. It reminds me that just because the way teens socialize and use technology doesn't always make sense to me doesn't mean it's not working for them. Learning from teens and letting them decide what works best for them has let me be better at supporting them. Because this isn't the first time in history that adults don't get teens. <laughs>